true underdog. Man, I don't know how to start this video because there's other YouTubers exactly like him. Well, for starters, he's actually a clickbaiting cuckold. I know his thumbnail is obviously clickbait, but I'm going to talk about that later. What I want to do first is summarize these four videos in particular. The first video, True Underdog, is talking about a data miner who found 14 new character slots. It's not set in stone who the characters are. He talks about characters that might hypothetically be the game in his own personal takes. This video is titled New Character, probably for the sake of the algorithm. This video is about more data mining specifically new move animations, and this is another video about more uncredible information about new characters. So out of the four videos, I'd say the one about the fighting animations is the most credible. So most of the videos are either like crappy predictions or his own inserts on what's going to come in the future. And what's funny is that the videos have gotten so bad that True Underdog had to come out and talk about it. People are assuming he's being paid to say nice shit about the game. That sounds true as hell, but most of what he shows is leaks, and I'm pretty sure NetherRealm wouldn't pay for leaks. I know Warner would because they waste the resources a lot of time. Now let's talk about his thumbnails. All his thumbnails are pretty much just AI-generated copy and pasted versions of each other. It's usually glowing guys with the character of the day and the Mortal Kombat 1 logo as the background. It's gotten so bad to the point where where he used the Mortal Kombat background for a Tekken video. Now, why would he use the same thumbnails for all of his videos, even the videos that really don't correspond with the thumbnail? I'll tell you why. He is a glorified content farmer. Notice how most of his videos are usually above 8 minutes long. For mid roll ads to run on your video, your video has to be like more than 8 minutes long. And for that, you want to know what True Underdog does? He adds a bunch of filler and rambles on for too long, so he just stretches out the video to get the AdSense money. Like many other YouTubers, True Underdog uses used to be a somewhat decent creator. Back in the day, he used to do a lot more guides and tutorial videos, but now he just spreads misinformation for a couple hundred dollars. He still does guides now, but you can only imagine what makes him more money. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and stay underdogs.